Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my classic chocolate chip cookie recipe, but we're going to do a little twist and we're going to be making the cookies in a whoopie pie pan. So let's get on with the recipe. In a large bowl I have one large egg. To that I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar and whenever you're measuring your brown sugar out you always want to pack it into your cup so that you get an accurate measurement. To that I'm going to add in a half a cup of unsalted butter. I'm going to grab my hand mixer, speed number one, and I'm going to start slowly combining all of these ingredients. Now my butter is soft, it's been out for a few hours. I'm just going to start creaming all of this together, and this is important. You want to start getting a really nice creaming process going on. Increase my mixer a little bit. Once everything's broken down, I'm going to get my mixer going on full speed. That's high speed. And I really want to cream this well. So I want to do this uh, for about 45 seconds or so. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla. This is equal to five milliliters or about four grams. And in case this is your first time visiting, welcome to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying your time here. And then I'm going to start sifting in all of my flour. This is all purpose flour, one and a half cups. That's 225 grams. Our baking powder. So that was one teaspoon or about five grams. And then I'll add in my salt. I'm gonna grab my mixer one last time. Just start mixing all of this in. Speed number one. We don't want to have a dust cloud. So you can see how easy this recipe is. Now if you find that your batter is a little bit on the dry side, you can always add a little bit of water. You could add one or two tablespoons, about 15 to 30 milliliters of water, just to loosen up the mixture a little bit. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna grab my chocolate chips, get those right in there. And I am using semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. And I do have my oven set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're almost finished the recipe and my oven is already at the correct temperature. Okay, there we have it. And now we are ready to fill our little tin. For today's twist, instead of baking our cookies on a regular baking tray like you usually see me do, I'm going to be using a little whoopie pie baking tin. This one here is made by Wilton, but there are many different makers that make this type of tray. Just for comparison, I'm going to show you the difference between a whoopie pie tin and a cupcake slash muffin tin. So I'll just turn this over and hopefully you can see, I'll just tilt both of these up. Can you see the difference? I'm going to turn that one like that. Can you see how shallow the whoopie pie one is right here compared to our cupcake tin? If you don't have a tray like this, don't worry. You can use this and it makes great little cookies as well. I'm going to use my little scoop and I know for this size I need two with this size scoop. I'm just going to go one two, if you do one, it doesn't fill it out enough, three is too much, so I'm going to go two, so if you use three of these, it'll be too much dough, two is perfect, so I'm going to fill all of these up and I'm going to come back in a second. And then our last one. So that's two little scoops in each one. 
and I've got a little bit of dough left over. And if you've seen enough of my videos, you know sometimes I like to do a little bit of a comparison. So in case you don't have this whoopie pie tray, I'm going to make a couple in our regular cupcake tin. So right now, I'm going to finish these off. I'm going to grab the back of a fork, and all I want to do is push these right into the corners. This is a very stiff dough and it makes an amazing cookie. You may have seen this recipe already on my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. Just check for classic chocolate chip cookie and you will see the recipe. I'll put a link to it below the video. There and you can see I missed one there. I thought I had done two. And you can see, look, when I push it down, there's not enough in there. So we'll do one more there. I have enough dough here to do my little comparison with the other baking tin. So there's two. I think that's good. It's the only one I missed. So I am spreading these because this dough is very, very thick and it does not spread out like some cookie doughs do when they're heated in the oven. So just get them all nicely pushed down. And our last one. Well, that looks good just like that. So now these I'm going to bake for exactly 12 minutes in my 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. Now I'm going to move these off and let's just work on the other ones in the cupcake tins. So just as a little comparison, we'll grab one of these. Get it in there. I'll grab my fork. And you can see that one's pretty small. Or we could go two. in. You can see there's a big difference between the two scoop and the one scoop. So I'll bake these off as well just to show you what they look like in our cupcake tin. I thought I would come back because I, I looked at the amount of dough I have left and I thought I've got enough just to fill a regular ice cream scoop. So I'm going to show you what the cookie looks like just doing it the regular way that we would do it on a cookie sheet, just like that. I'm going to take my fork and just push this down a little bit. That looks good. So I'm going to bake this one as well. I'm going to do this for 12 minutes as well. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you all of them at the same time. So here we have our first batch. So these are with the Whoopie Pie tin. And I'm just going to show you. I'll just flip these around a little bit so you can see what they look like. Now these are extremely hot right now. And I can't pull them out yet because they would just fall apart. So I've got to let these cool quite a bit before I bring them out. So I'm going to do that. I've got my other batch going, and I've got the extra little cookie. I'm going to do all those, and then I'll come back and I'm going to show you what they look like. So here we are again. These just came out. Now I've got the last cookie in there. I always feel that if I don't show you every part of the video, I'm kind of cheating you because it's kind of like I want you to be here for every single step. These are extremely hot right now, so I'm just going to let these ones cool down a little bit, and then I'll remove them. I'll do the other one. That one there has about eight minutes left to go on it. I'm going to let that one go and then I will come back. I'm going to show you everything at the same time. So these ones here have cooled enough. They're still warm. But look at how nice these are. I want to show you how easily they come out of this little tin. And this is a Teflon non-stick. 
Anyway, we're going to zoom in a lot more on these. These are really, really nice. And this little tray gives them a really nice shape. And you know what's nice? You can actually put a nice scoop of ice cream on there and it'll actually hold it right in there. Mm, these smell really good. And our last one. So that's our first ones. We'll get to the other ones and then we'll compare them. We've got our two here. I'm gonna just gonna tilt those over. So there we have those. You can see the difference between them. This one here is a little bit too warm to be playing with right now. I will be zooming in on these and there's the other one. These are actually a nice shape as well. So we're just waiting on our last cookie and then I'll come back. So here we have our last cookie that was in the oven for a total of 15 minutes. It's quite large. I'm just going to move it right off. Really nice cookie though. That's, that's a pretty good sized cookie. So at this point I'm just going to let all of these completely cool and then I'll come back. So here we are a little while later. All my cookies have completely cooled down. You can see the really nice ones that we did in the Whoopie Pie tin. Those are really nice. I like the, the look of those cookies. And then these ones were done in the muffin tin or the cupcake tin. So you can see one, that was the two scoop. And then that there was the one scoop. But you can still, the, these ones are actually quite nice looking as well. So some little ideas, we're gonna put those like that. And then we have that one. So let me just break this into this and I'll just show you, look at this. I love this recipe. Whoa, look at that. These make amazing cookies. I hope you try this recipe out. I gotta take a little bite. Mmm. That is so, so good. If you wanna try a really amazing cookie recipe, I want you to try this recipe. You're gonna try it once and it's gonna be your go-to recipe. You're gonna wanna write it out and you're gonna make it all the time. I can't say enough about these cookies. You have to make a batch and try them out. You will fall in love with them. I don't think I've given these cookies justice. I'm gonna take some nice pictures of these. I'll put them on my Instagram page, also my Pinterest over at pinterest.com slash bake like a pro. I'll put a few on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash bake like a pro. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you next time.